he's involved in the movie with the movie or is he supporting is, it? He's uh, producing the movie and he's the, the star of the film. He plays yeah. uh, Sam, who uh, was part of a generation that really saw all of their friends and really their chosen family be decimated by the AIDS, the plague, mm -hmm. by AIDS um, in the 80s and 90s and now finds himself in a world where you know, he has to reconcile himself with a new generation where increasingly AIDS is a manageable disease and really yeah, isn't and, living with the, and, the kind of the drama. And the behaviors that people of his generation had to learn either not to do or to do right. kind of went out the window. Right, you know, and, and so now there's, there's this, this battle between, you know, being safe and taking care of yourself and the people around you and your community and also about shame around sex and about, mm -hmm. you know, expressing yourself sexually. Think, think about this, Wilson. Uh, you, you were always going to be in the arts somehow. Yeah. If you had grown up then, let's say uh, the, the late 70s and the early 80s, you would have, if you were okay, lost many or mm -hmm. most of your friends. And people didn't understand what was going on. They called it the gay play, mm -hmm. gay cancer. Grid. Uh, yeah, yeah. A, a virulent form, I remember, of when they didn't know what it was, of, of hepatitis. Yeah. Because uh, I can remember losing some friends back then, and it wasn't called AIDS, but that's what it was. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not that young. I was a, I was a teenager uh, when... In, in, the, in the early 80s, so I remember it very vividly, and, um, and, and, and the fact that I was going through puberty myself, I was mm -hmm. realizing my own sexuality at the time, and the messages of, you know, sex and death being combined uh, was were really Were you living confusing. in fear at the time? I think we all were. I think there was ignorance, and there was um, just a general fear about what to do and what you couldn't do, and then we started to see people die, and... And, um, and, and die bad deaths. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, the kinds of messages that were being sent out and the way that the media was covering it. Mm -hmm. You know, GLAAD, an organization that I worked for, um, was created because of the AIDS epidemic, because they wanted to deal with the way that uh, the media was really talking about AIDS and gay men. Um, so there was a, a, a paranoia, really. Now, in your, in your own life, and I think we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. your own family, your yeah. father uh, you're, had you're, a hard time. Yes. Yeah. And, and your father didn't talk to you for a long time. Your mother came around on it. But meanwhile, you had this kind of over all of it. Yeah. The idea that there was this disease out there. Yeah, I mean, it, that was the mid-90s uh, when this was all happening. And, you know, we had lost my uncle uh, to AIDS uh, in the late 80s. And so, you know, we still mourn him. So it was still very fresh at the time. And you know, my, my parents had fears of their own uh, mm -hmm. that had to do with homosexuality because of the, mis the, the, the misconceptions that they were receiving. Well, homosexuality in general, forgetting... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I talk a lot about yeah. it in this... Uh, I'm, I'm producing a docuseries about the history of LGBT images um, that will hopefully be out next year, mm -hmm. and I talk a lot about that experience. Did you ever try to hide as an actor that you were gay? No. Well, I mean, you, you were in my so-called life, yeah. so... No, not... Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, but you so, declared immediately you weren't. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, I was 19, well, 19 when we made my so-called life, and mm. and you know, the, it was weird. You know, I think we've talked about the this. Where gay I was, yeah, on I was the first gay teenager. Yeah, was the first gay teenager on network TV, and huge. And press didn't really know how to deal with me, so mm. they would say coded things like, "So, how are you like your character?" Yeah, yeah sure. And I would say, "Well, I'm a gay man, like my yeah. character." Um, um, Isn't but it you, fascinating you know, and how would, much has changed? Would, you know, yeah, from you then know, to now, we've and gone from invisibility really mm -hmm. in the 50s and 60s, and and you know, creeping in in the in the 80s and 90s uh, to ubiquity now. You know, you can't turn on the television well, without. Well, I'm remembering sitting and interviewing actors uh, like. Me? You. Uh, well, no, you were open. Yeah. No, I'm saying oh, yeah, actors yeah. who I knew were gay, and they knew were they were gay. What was the last thing you were going to bring up? And so every interview was a little bit of a lie. Hmm. Being gay is not that unusual. But the energy going into hiding it yes. Yes. is. And we're seeing that change, right? I mean, we see people uh, like a young man recently, Colton Haynes, who um, who declared his sexuality uh, recently after struggling with having to hide it and the pressures of, of what that meant as, a, as mm -hmm. an actor. Um, and he has talked about how relieved he feels now. All right. Uh, what do you want folks to do? I want po folks to go to their, to kickstarter.com and look up the movie After Louis, L-O- 
U I E, um, <laughs> and and give to get this movie made because it's really a story that needs to be told. Hasn't been told. We need to really reflect on how we reconcile these two generations and how this community comes together. And Wilson, as of nine o'clock, thirty-seven thousand dollars right. has been raised. And so. we, we're only halfway there, and yeah. we have six more days left. So. Everything helps, All and right. there's lots of incentives there. So, oh, Thank yeah, you. Gifts? yes, uh, yeah. okay. lots of them. All right, good to see you. Good to Thank see you. you. Thank you for having me again. Uh, coming up, he is a very, very famous Hall of Fame pitcher. He's 70 years old now, which shocks me. But he has a teenage autistic stepson. It has entirely changed him in profound ways. Roy Firestone on that story when we come back.